Chapter Fourteen of the Tale of Buster Bumblebee. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Dion Gines. The Tale of Buster Bumblebee by Arthur Scott Bailey. Chapter Fourteen. Bad News. It is not surprising that the carpenter's answer failed to satisfy Buster Bumblebee i really must know when my house will be ready he cried at last i've invited all my friends to a housewarming and how can i have one unless i have a house to warm the carpenter slowly shook his head don't ask me he said wearily i've enough to trouble me right here at home without answering any riddles for strangers i suppose you'll get your house finished some time buster ventured i hope to said the carpenter though it certainly won't be tomorrow on account of all the interruptions i'm having to-day now that honest workman meant his remark to be a hint but the idea never occurred to buster that the carpenter had him in mind when he mentioned interruptions and buster went right on talking i'd suggest you work nights as well as in the daytime he said i'll think about it the carpenter promised and now he added now i must go back to my carpentering if you'll excuse me and before buster could say another word the carpenter slipped through his doorway and vanished i hope he'll do as i suggested buster bumblebee said to himself as he moved aimlessly away from the big poplar tree where the carpenter lived if i shouldn't get my house until cold weather comes i don't see how i could have a house warming and then all my friends would be disappointed the more he thought about the matter the more disturbed he became until at last on the following day he felt that he simply must go back and speak to the carpenter again buster noticed as he drew near to the carpenter's house once more that there was a crowd in the carpenter's dooryard everybody looked so sorrowful that buster was sure something dreadful had happened what's the matter he asked little mrs ladybug who was wiping her eyes with a lace pocket handkerchief it's the carpenter she answered as soon as she could speak he's disappeared and now we've just heard what's become of him johnny green caught him yesterday and has made him a prisoner that was bad news indeed for buster bumblebee he was so sorry that he swallowed hard three or four times before he could say a word and then he began to groan this is terrible he moaned at last and all the carpenter's neighbors gathered around him and said what a kind-hearted young gentleman he was but that it was no more than you might expect of a queen's son the carpenter must have been a dear friend of yours quavered old daddy longlegs tottering up to buster and peering into his face oh no said buster bumblebee but he promised to build a house for me as soon as he had finished working on his own so his being a prisoner is pretty hard on me for i've invited all my friends to a housewarming and i don't know what to do End of chapter fourteen bad news recording by dion gines